Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We're going to be dressing up my mantle like a witch's cottage for Halloween. So, I hope you can stick around. Here we go. forget to check me out on Etsy. The link to my shop is in the description of every video. Double, double toil and trouble. Fire burn in the cauldron bubble. Filet of a fenny snake in the cauldron boil and bake. Eye of newt and toe of frog. Wool of bat and tongue of dog. Adder's fork and blind worm sting. Lizard's leg and howlet's wing. For a charm of powerful trouble like a hell broth boil and bubble. When I think of a witch's cottage, these are the images that come to my mind. Dried flowers and lots of candlelight. You're bringing the outdoors indoors. Uh, a cauldron is always nice. Lots of apothecary type bottles. And, of course, you have to have a broom. How else are you going to get to the grocery store? Here is my take on a witch's cottage. Again, we're at my mantle. It is a fireplace mantle that doesn't actually work as a fireplace. It's just for decoration. And if you watched my last Decorate With Me... I tore all that down and then did this. I decorated the top of my mantle and then right underneath I also decorated that this time. And I tried to go slow so that you could get a good vantage point here on all the little nooks and crannies and things that I've placed there. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to put them in the comment section. And if this is something that you normally do in your home every year, if you like that witchy decor, or if it's something that you do all the time, let me know down in the comment section if there's something that I missed.
I hope you're enjoying this. It took me quite a bit of time to scavenge my house, put this together, and think really hard of what I would put together if I was a witch. So, this is what I came up with. And I really hope you enjoy it. I do have a few recommendations for you though. It was without not with <laughs> it wasn't without any incidents. Um yeah. If you need to move a wet specimen, especially one that's heavy, don't move it by the lid because it'll pop off and um end up like I did with bunny juice on me. <laughs> And all over everything on the floor. Yeah. These are the red dead apples that I put in the cauldron with some backlighting. We did those in a craft project. And this beautiful piece is an old cape that I have. It's an antique. I figured a witch would wear that. And we have one of my plants that is thriving <laughs> that I decided to put down there for greenery. We have some old boots that I thought a witch would wear. And this old book, I bought it specifically, of course, because of the illustration on the front, the design. Those ferns that I got, they have a feely type material on them and they're a really deep dark green I'm in love with them I found them at Michael's in their section where they have all the Halloween picks and I wish I would have purchased more than two because they're gorgeous crystal ball and a mortar and pestle for all of her spells and potions and Mr. Toad I did have another incident also. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know that broom I made last year? Well, I set it on fur. <laughs> Not on purpose. But yeah, we had a little fire situation going on. Because I had all these candles and then my broom. Yeah. So, um, rabbit juice... <laughs> And set my, my uh, broom on fire. So, yeah, it was pretty comical, actually. I wasn't um, laughing about it at the time. I had a few expletives um, leave my mouth. <laughs> but, yeah. Anyways. I hope this gives you some type of inspiration. For this Halloween season. And. When I decorate. For Halloween. I tend to decorate more. On the haunted house realistic side. Versus decorating with the store bought items. So I hope you enjoy this. And again if you have any questions. Please do leave them in the comment section. Or even just to say hi. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And it's awesome too if you're able to share this with someone else. I'm trying to get over uh, 10,000 subs before the end of the year. Thanks for watching guys. Till next time. See you later. My mother thanks you, my father thanks you, my sister thanks you, and I assure you, I thank you.